Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and uh, one of the things that I like to do on uh, the medium wave range, because it's really medium wave and medium frequency range, uh, in between, it's it's in, just below the um, medium wave broadcast band, but above what is the long wave band that ends at 300 kilohertz, there are some long wave or medium wave, it's really medium wave, Navtex stations that broadcast and these are um, divided into the navigational areas around the world or what we call nav areas. So this is a very accurate list, good list. William Hepburn, once again, really um, is getting this information up to date all the time. The latest update is September 14, 2023. So it's really, really um, the latest information that he could get. Now, these are Navtex, so you use either Citor B or Navtex mode on your software to the code, and you should be able to actually hear some of those, depending on where you are. I hear some quite regularly on 518 and 490 kilohertz here, and you'd be surprised at the distance sometimes that these can actually uh, do. So, when you go down this list, it has all the information about languages and so on, but it has a map, and the map is important. And the reason it is, it tells you the navigational areas where these transmissions might actually be directed to or where the information comes from. Here to, in North America, you could see that navigational area four. We have 12 on the Pacific side. Uh, we have 17 here on the upper left in the Arctic. Uh, 18 on the right side of the Arctic. So depending on what you're listening to and uh, what you want to get as information, um, you will get a lot of these um, you know, areas that are going to be uh, where the transmissions come from. So what happens here is that, of course, navigational areas near where you are are the ones that you're probably going to hear the most often. But you know what? If you have low noise, good antennas, uh, try it out. It's surprising what you can get. Uh, from here in Montreal, for example, I get I can get the Arctic, the Atlantic, I even get the Caribbean side of things. And there's even some for the Great Lakes that are in there. So when you go down, you will see that everything is divided by navigational area. So for example, four. This is where I will actually go and check it out. So navigational area. Uh, let's go two, three, and here's four. Nav, nav area four, north plus Great Lakes. And here you have all of the stations on the frequencies of 490 or 518 kilohertz. 490 is often French and 518 is often English. And here you have the times that you will have different stations popping up. Miami, Bermuda, uh, Riviera Moisy here in Canada, um, Charleston, and Boston. So these are all different places. You have the power levels here that are used. Uh, so this is why some of them actually go very far. They're pretty powerful. Uh, some of them are really, really powerful. So, uh, and there's one here, it's 472 kilohertz at 01, which is irregular, but you can try it. And this one is more powerful in Stoneham. So this is, uh, you know, it's to check out. So uh, basically, you have all of the information of these stations. You tune around. If you have a single sideband radio, you tune around one kilohertz lower. So 518, you'll be in 517 upper sideband. At 490, You'll be at 489 upper sideband. This is going to give you the 1000 hertz tones that you need and that you can use on your software to the code. So I'm going to actually, I talked about this today. I'm going to actually show you some that I'll be receiving today uh, from this list and uh, probably more tonight because of the uh, uh, medium wave will propagate better tonight than in the middle, middle of the day. I'll be sharing this list, and wherever you are in the world, well, look at the nav areas in your area, uh, and you will hear some of these stations. All you need is a radio capable of tuning just below the medium wave band, uh, 518 kilohertz, 490 kilohertz, 
uh, Texan PL990 can do it, Texan H501X. Unfortunately, there are quite a few wide uh, receivers that are general coverage that emit a small portion of that area. So if your radio goes all the way to, um, on medium wave, all the way to, say, 400 and, you know, 50, 460 kilohertz, and then it jumps to the medium wave band, which is 520, uh, it's possible that you're missing out on that range. There's a lot of radios, um, and I don't know why, where that little spot there is missing. But uh, check it out. There's a lot of radios that have it also. Uh, most of the time, you'll be tuning it in what the radio says is long wave. Um, that's where you're going to be able to tune. And, of course, any SDRs and any um, radios that are you know good tabletop radios um, will go there and you can hear these stations and if you have an mla 30 it works pretty good there um this is where i hear it i never hear them on my transceiver my yesu would be and fed it's too noisy but the mla 30 uh shines and brings them to life so uh, the mla 30 is great for that the link to this page is in the description below hope that you enjoy and uh i'll be posting a few uh Navtex decoding us uh, videos today. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.